Indonesia is a country in Southeast Asia in between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It consists of over 17,000 islands including Sumatra, Java, Sulawesi, and parts of Borneo and New Guinea. Indonesia is the world's largest archipelagic state and the 14th largest country by area with over 735,358 square miles and over 279 million people. Indonesia is the world's fourth most populous country and the most populous Muslim majority country. Java, the world's most popular island, is home to more than half of the country's population. Indonesia also shares land borders between Papua New Guinea, East Timor, and the eastern part of Malaysia, as well as maritime borders with Singapore, Vietnam, Thailand, the Philippines, Australia, Palau, and India. The country is also known for its variety of animals, beautiful landscapes, and rain seasons. As you pass through the civilized areas in Indonesia, you eventually come to the rainforest. Here lies an ecosystem beyond your imagination. In the quiet serenity of the rainforest, the reticulated python, a species native to South and Southeast Asia, is the world's longest snake. With weights reaching up to 400 pounds, and a girth as round as a telephone pole. These formidable predators sometimes cross paths with humans. The reticulated python, or Malaya python reticulus, is a python species native to South and Southeast Asia. It is the world's longest snake and the third heaviest after the green anaconda and the Burmese python. Like all pythons, it is a non-venomous constrictor. In very rare cases, Adult humans have been killed and, at least in three reported cases, eaten by reticulated pythons. These animals are extremely powerful hunters, lying in wait for their prey, pouncing on them, biting them and wrapping their coils rapidly around its victim, and eventually swallowing them head first and completely. Today's story is concerning Jaira, a grandmother who in early 2022 decided to go out and gather some figs. Little did she know she would confront one of nature's most deadly predators. This is her story. Jaira lived in the Jambi province island of Sumatra. The jungle density here is so thick that the sunlight cannot even penetrate through the trees in some cases, making these jungles some of the most dangerous in the world. On Friday, May 21st of 2022, 54-year-old grandmother Jara said goodbye to her family. She told them that she was going to pick some rubber from rubber trees near her home. It is a common practice in Indonesia for some people to go by a single name. Some villages from really close communities do this. After grabbing her equipment, Jara headed out the door with her family, expecting she would return in a few hours. By the time the night arrived, Jaira's husband became very concerned. She still hadn't showed up, which was unlike her. He later found her jacket, headscarf, and knife used to collect the rubber near the area where she stated she would be. The problem is there was no Jaira. Later, he contacted authorities who rounded up a posse to go out looking for Jaira. As the crew continued searching through the dense brush, eventually came upon a reticulated python and was lying there with an all too familiar sight, a bulge in the middle of its stomach. It is said that the python was around 19 feet long and around 3 feet in diameter, which is easily as round as a telephone pole. These snakes can exert pressures of 14 pounds per square inch, which is easily enough to kill a human. The snake's teeth curve backwards, allowing it to grasp its prey and for it easily to be able to slide down its throat. These snakes take weeks to digest large meals and sometimes can't move. And that's when they found this snake, which is said to have consumed Jaira completely. As the searchers continued to search for the massive head of this beast, which was over 19 feet long, 
eventually finding it. One of the workers used a pitchfork to pin its head down while the other beheaded it. The workers went on to indicate that the snake undoubtedly clamped its massive jaws onto her and immediately wrapped it in its muscular body several times. Even if she struggled, it would have been futile. These snakes exert enough pressure to disform its victim, even bursting blood vessels and cracking bones. So it's very safe to say that Jaira's demise was horrific, to say the least. The following footage is extremely graphic. It shows the moment that the workers came upon the bulging snake with Jaira's body inside of it. These snakes have several layers of thick muscular skin that you have to cut through in order to get to their stomach. That's exactly what the workers had to do to try to get to Jaira's body. As the workers try to horrifically retrieve her remains by cutting open the snake, they're amazed at the size of it and how long it takes to cut through its thick skin. Eventually retrieving Jairus remains still intact. It is said that the python's digestive process had begun to start. Through all the turmoil, they were eventually able to retrieve Jairus' body and return it to her family. As horrible as this story is, it shows the power of these predators in the wild. We are no match. Your villagers who have actually witnessed similar attacks on goats state that the entire struggle may have taken at least two hours to complete while Jaira fought for her life and while the snake swallowed her. If you thought the story ended here, think again. Villagers had previously pursued a reticulated python which was even larger than the one that consumed Jaira. It was about 27 feet long and when villagers piled on top of it to try to take control of it, they all ran for their lives as the strength of the serpent was unimaginable and it got away. So there are larger ones out there somewhere. Rest in peace to Jaira, and may God comfort your family. Please like, share, and subscribe to Where in the World is Frank and Gina on YouTube. And please consider contributing to our channel. It helps us to create more content. God bless.